What a difference a week can make. Hello, I'm Griff Rees. Welcome to Green and Griff Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I'm just at the new yard here. And the bees are flying. There's some honey coming in, and it's all down to one plant. One plant in particular that is going to save us. Oh. It feels like it's going to save us and that is the Hawthorn. We've pretty much lost out on the whole season really, or the spring season of honey. And we've been feeding bees, struggling to keep them going. And just a few days like this, I've been going through some of the hives. And I haven't got any full supers yet. But if this continues for a week, I think I will, will have some full supers on the hive. But the nukes are coming on great in this weather. They are absolutely loving it. Let's show you some, some of the entrances on these. And they're this busy, and it's roughly nine o'clock in the morning now. And these are going for it. And it just goes to show some good weather, a little bit of flower, and the bees get on great. Now I'm just going to take you up the field now and I'm going to show you the hawthorn and show you why this is so important. Let's talk a little bit about the hawthorn, then we'll go and uh, we'll go check some hives, see if we can see the hawthorn honey in the hive. When the weather is this warm, and you're outside in a t-shirt, at nine o'clock in the morning. I think Wales is probably one of the best places to be. I mean, look how green everything is. That oak tree now is just coming to leaf really, really slow this year. But on years like we have it now, it's the trees that are saving beekeeping. And doesn't matter where you are in the UK, you've probably got Hawthorn where you are and it just might be a little bunch like this in a native hedge like that or if you're lucky you might have hawthorn trees now hawthorn's kind of classed as a shrub because it doesn't grow as big as the oak or anything like that but here is a prime example of a good hawthorn tree. Look at this. And this is what it's all about right now. End of May, the hawthorns come in. Some of it hasn't even come into flower yet. If I show you there really quick, that there is not in flower yet. So I would expect this is gonna be strong in flower for the good next seven hopefully 10 days. Now, if we get good weather for that amount of time, we're definitely gonna get some spring honey and it's gonna be pretty much on one crop. So maybe for the first time ever, I will have almost 100% Hawthorn honey on the hive because nothing else is on the hive. There's nothing worth talking on the hive. So if any supers get filled now, it's gonna be pretty much 100% Hawthorn honey. And, uh, you know when the bees are working the hawthorn because you can smell hawthorn honey. Hawthorn honey is really, really strong. Unlike other types of honey, especially your sum summer honey, it's not very, uh, it doesn't smell that strong when the bees are working it. When you go into the hive in spring and you smell a really strong honey smell, maybe you haven't smelt that smell before, chances are that is hawthorn honey. You can actually smell it. You can smell it outside the hives you can open the hives up and you can even smell it more. And that is Hawthorn honey and that is what I've been smelling over the last two days. Pretty much in every single hive. And oh, I tell you, I just really hope 
that sun stays out for a good 10 days. Rain in the night, sun in the day. But no doubt, beekeeper's hat everywhere has been lifted this week. Well, that's it for the Hawthorn. Let's go down and see some Hawthorn honey on the hives. Now, before I go to see some hives, I'm actually going up to the Brecon Beacons, see my hives up there today. And I'm giving a talk, funny enough, at the same farm to a group of uh, young, to a group of the Young Farmers Club. I think there's about 20 of them there today. And my talk today is going to be on the importance of hedgerows on farms. Because if we didn't have these hedgerows here in Wales, then my bees would still be starving. But because we've got so many hedgerows in Wales, lots of small fields, the hedgerows are being cut and maintained by farmers in this way, it's producing a big crop of hawthorn flowers that the bees can work. And not only are these hedgerows benefiting farming, it's giving livestock shelter, it's giving nice livestock trace elements when the livestock actually eating the leaves of these uh, hedgerows. Some hedgerow plants are very, very high in trace elements. Uh, they've got different trace elements to some grasses. So cattle especially, they love eating some varieties um, of our native hedgerow plants. Now when I say eat it, they don't eat it to destruction. You know, they just nibble at the odd leaf. Deer do that as well. Very, very nutritious for them, no doubt. But by having these good hedgerows in farms, and bees benefit from it as well. And not just bees, all other pollinators as well. So you've got the sycamore, you've got the hawthorn, you've got willow, early signs of pollen for the bees. They all come from trees. Pretty much when the bees are building strong at the start of the season, the most important flowers out there, apart from the dandelion, is the flowering native trees that we've got here in the UK. And I uh, just wanted to highlight that because I'm actually going to be talking about that to a group of uh, young farmers up in the Brecon Beacons today. And I can't go anywhere. Now Tani Post following me around. That cat still hasn't learned after getting stung on the nose the other day. Anyway, I need to get the pickup ready, get all the tools and the highs and the kits in there. I don't think anything's gonna swarm up there, but I'll bring some boxes just in case I need to do some splits. But yeah, nukes are looking good. Nectar on the trees looking good. Potentially honey is gonna look good in a few days time. And that's gonna make that hard spring worthwhile going through. And if you didn't know that we sell nukes, we do sell nukes now. We've got a few breeders uh, working with us. One producing Welsh black bees, one producing buckfast bees. So go to my website, gwynnygriffith.co.uk if you're after some nukes. We've got, well, we're out of Welsh blacks at the minute, but may get more in stock, but we should have buckfast nukes right through the season. So if you want some buckfast bees, look up on the website. Right there. Let's go up to the Brecon Beacons. So here we are, up here in the Brecon Beacons. Now for a view. And we have got a bit of Hawthorn honey coming in. That is pure hawthorn honey. Nothing else is really giving you at the minute. And you can smell it. I wish you could smell the smell that's coming out of this hive right now. Amazing. We're into the first hoop here, so we've got one, two, three supers. More half on her knee. If I flip this frame around, 
that in a cockpit as well. So frame is not really full, but you can see we've only had about two days worth of warm weather. Mm -hmm. They are working at Hawthorne and bringing it in. Excellent stuff. I even put in Hawthorne in the brood here now as well. No doubt the bees are working really hard. Get this Hawthorne honey in. They've been desperate for it. Massive, massive amount of seed brood, yeah. No queen cells yet. I think one hive here has swarmed. There's the queen. Well, that's good news. Now that looked like it had three supers full there. It hasn't got three supers full. I say there's probably one super full there between the three of them. Because they're just back filling, they're filling the middle frames out, they're not working the super as efficiently as they could. So yeah, three supers on there, but it's probably one super's worth of honey. Oh, I hope this week carries on like this because it's going to be it's going to make all the difference to the spring crop well that's it so it's looking really good one hive here a bit aggressive so i'll finish this video in the car What is wrong with these bees today? One hive. Hey, I did the talk, everything went really well. And I've got some food here. Fair play. Farmers looking out for me here. But I can't take my veil off yet because I've got all these bees on me. So we'll take a cut and get back to this. Alright, that's better. I can actually enjoy some dinner from the event there. It went really well. The young farmers there, very forward thinking, very much thinking of farming with the environment in mind as well. Great to see, refreshing to see as well. And uh, farm is definitely changing for the better, I think. A lot of these young guys coming through the industry, they're keen on producing food, but very keen on protecting the environment as well. And the main subject of today uh, for this video and the talk was the importance of your hedgerows and the wildflowers on these farms. And I mean, you couldn't possibly get a better day to do a talk about it and use the hawthorn as the main topic for the talk. The hawthorn was in full flow today and we've just been to see some hives and the hawthorn is coming in nice and strong. A super full on one of the hives down there. And the nukes are feeding themselves lovely. The nukes I did a few weeks ago, I had Channel 4 filming me doing those nukes. We did five and I'd love to say it and I'm going to say it, five out of five success rate on those new Buckfast Queens in there. So really pleased with that. And uh, I had to do that very quickly as well. I uh, wasn't expecting the Queens to be delivered there. So I did the splits a lot quicker than I wanted to. So I didn't actually leave the the, the nukes go hopelessly queenless. Uh, I had to put the nukes, I had to put the Queens in straight in, but 100% success rate there. Doesn't always go like that, but in this case it does. So I'll finish this video off all about the Hawthorne today in this video and the importance of it and I tell you I really hope we get a good week of this because we're going to have some nice Hawthorne honey on the hives. Well that's it for this video and don't forget if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.